Assalamualaikum and good morning to all who sees my video. Today, I am Mimi Natasha as the presenter of the 10 Royal Institution of Chartered Surveyor and Royal Institution Surveyor Malaysia undergrad conference from the Bachelor Building Surveyors Center of Architecture, Planning and Surveying would like to present my research about the potential study on implementation HPIM Historic Building Information Modeling in National Heritage Building. This research study on history building information modeling HPIM that consists of prototype library of parametric objects that are built by using an embedded scripting language within the building information modeling BIM software called Geometric Descriptive Language GDL. This software was designed based on history architectural element by either using history manuscript or architectural pattern book ranging from vitreous to 18th century be mapped onto point cloud and image survey data by laser, scan or photogrammetic survey. Therefore, 3D modeling stage create and the integration of the 3D model into a 3D GIS using CTGML that provide an interoperable framework for modeling 3D geometries, semantic topology and appearance properties for further analysis. The problem statement of this study are there an issue of poor construction information, lack of information about its internal structure and the mutual relation between the compounding architecture element, high modeling or conversion effort from capture building data into a semantic BIM object and lack of BIM knowledge and lack of highly skilled staff that are able to handle and manage BIM technology. The aim of this research is to enhance the potential on the implementation of the HBIM in the National Heritage Building. Whereby, the three objectives of this study is to study the awareness of national conservators toward the implementation of HBIM in National Heritage Building. Second, to determine the benefit and challenges of HBIM implementation in National Heritage Building and lastly to recommend the best practice of HBIM in National Heritage Building. This research is based on the data obtained from survey questionnaires that will be distributed to professional bodies. The finding of this research will have the potential to be implemented in the heritage sector with the collaboration within professional bodies involved. Therefore, I believe HBIM can be used for creating, conserving, documenting, and managing complete energy in growing and information where it represents a new paradigm within architecture heritage. That's all from me. Thank you.